Hi guys, I just watched the trailer of this movie Dune right now and let me tell you it's very interesting. And I didn't come across Dune just right now. I think a lot of people knew about Dune for years now. I mean every single news that such a production was going on, who is going to direct it, who gave a screen uh, test for this movie, who was in talks to star in it, every single thing was in the news. So Clearly, some production houses were very keen that everybody knows that this movie is going to come and it's going to be a big hit. It has some big names attached to it, so please pay attention. That's what they wanted to say all along. And by this trailer, let me tell you that it was an okay, okay? But it's quite an uh, interesting movie. So this clearly is movie related to kind of a Star wars thing this movie has. And it's a sci- science fiction with uh, some sort of a mystical element and some sort of a, a hi-fi warrior and combat situation going on. And I'm not into combat movies that much, but I'm clearly into um, science fiction and uh, how they kind of convert the talks between spirituality and uh, realism and let me show you how that is done in this movie so uh, clearly whoever this lady is is she is some sort of a uh, you know big fish in this movie and she's definitely a cult leader who's gonna train this guy timothy chalamet and let's go back to his first shot i mean uh, definitely they chose this shot for a purpose and from this shot I don't get uh, a feeling like how am I how do I how am I supposed to feel about this guy I mean uh, clearly the expression and everything uh, leads me on to feel like this is the uh, Robert Pattinson from Twilight Saga uh, signed sort of a mystical sort of a badass but um, very uh, very a private person so then there's this this scene where you get to know that um, he has to either protect his hand or uh, die i mean he has to keep his hand in the box and let me tell you that box and what was in that box is going to be a viral sensation so make sure you watch the trailer and comment below what do you think was in the box so here is the sci-fi element in the movie that they put on this device and they sort of start to uh, teleport or maybe uh, kind of convert into a wave or maybe they get so much energy that uh, they start to look different. So maybe this device is an energy magnifier of some sort that these warriors wear. So of course there is some training scene uh, with Timothy and uh, whoever the next guy was. So I like this line a lot in this uh, trailer that uh, the lady says that uh, that he will lose that one too. The whole thing is Timothy's dad uh, is the ruler of the world. I mean, uh, um, so I don't understand like if he is the ruler why is timothy not uh, given any nice treatment why does he have to go through punishment like that so so since uh, timothy's dad is the uh, ruler of this planet and now he's going to move to conquer another one because he is losing this one she says that he will lose that one too and I quite agree with her because, uh, you know, uh, colonialism, people had for many generations this thought that you can only conquer, win and win and build and build. But there is such a thing as ruling and taking care of your land and your people. Uh, if you are not able to do that on a small scale, on one planet, there is definitely, I mean, it, it will be sure that you can't do it 
on another one you are setting yourself for a failure so if you can't handle one small box doesn't mean you have to get a bigger box it just mean that you are a bad leader and i think his dad is a bad leader so there is this is a generic shot of whoever is in this movie so from this shot the purpose of this shot is just to let you know that dave batista is in this movie so yeah cheers for him i guess then uh, this is an extermination i think uh, so the scene i think it signifies that um, uh, timothy's army went to this another island called uh, akarnis or whatever and they thought they were going to conquer it but it turns out that uh, it is the other way around that they were led there and they were going to be smashed like little uh, insects like exterminated at all so now he has to fight back and definitely whoever this guy is is the bad guy i mean you get the vibes right so again a dev bautista shot again a generic i have asian characters in my movie shot there was one also generic i have black characters in my movie shot but um, regardless of all those shots and the theme being quite like the star wars y theme I like this quote that when you let go of the fear only I will remain I mean I, this is going to buy uh, to be my life motto I mean I'm going to write this on my wall and look at it every day uh, that um, if I stop being afraid I only I will remain and I can win uh, which is a great quote I mean at least my 10 minutes weren't wasted while watching and reviewing this trailer because this is quite a good quote and uh, i'm gonna make you look at it. so overall i think the trailer was fine i think the logo is fine as well um, but uh, i'm still not sold on this being the biggest movie and all but uh, i think we can give this a try i mean we are in a lockdown this movie will probably be released on a streaming platform so uh, what's the harm in watching it right so let's hope this movie is streamed on the platform we are currently paying on so that we don't have to buy new subscription and hope it's a good one um i hope you liked my review and uh, if you liked it please leave a comment a like com- comment on my video and subscribe bye